Time for baseball on MLB Network from Citizens Bank Park in the city of brotherly love. It's game four of the World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Philadelphia Phillies. Game four of the World Series comes up next. Home side about to take the field. This place is jumping. Here's public address announcer Alex Miniak. Ladies and gentlemen, your Philadelphia Phillies. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dero, what's the key if they want to be crowned World Series champs here tonight? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. That is third. The third baseman. Number two. Now here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second home run of the series, and that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or if he blows up. Could go either way at this point. Next up for the Red Sox, number two, batting from the right side with the southpaw on the mound. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. On a line, that's a base hit. So with that, the top of the third inning will continue at least one more batter. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here, having a huge series. Any big leader can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Ryan Marte. A one pitch on its way. He's running. Pitch outside. The throw. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. Some managers treat the postseason as a time to be aggressive. And that's exactly the case here. They had the speed burner on the move. And it worked out nicely for him. Just got to drive him in now. Try to bump right, for a on, base hit here up, as he up, gets this up. one down. Perez is right there and a close play at the bag but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out and the inning is over one hit one left we'll move on to the bottom of inning number three Philadelphia is on top three to two stepping in and ready for another shot number two he's off to a fast start in this one two for two including a home run. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And gone. An absolute bomb.
A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game, and it's now 5-3. Long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Settling in now, number two. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one. So we'll see what else he has in store here. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Fouled off. Oh, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, man. He just tied him up in knots right there. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, no preference. So next to the plate for the Phils, Vinny the Perez. Baseman. On the night, he's Vinny. two for four with a pair of singles. Perez. Left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. We're through eight full here in game four. It's the Red Sox six and the Phillies five. Ready for another shot now, number two. He'll hit from the right side of the batter's box against the left-handed pitcher. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Man, talk about having a good game. Like most guys, this would be a good week. Fourth hit of the game, and two of those D-Rolls round trippers. Yeah, he's going to have a smile on his face for a while here, Dan. These now are special back. nights. Let's you have do. to enjoy these. These oh, don't yeah. come around often, and Mark he is that. taking full advantage of it. Pitch inside. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come, and his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. The one and two pitch. Weak rounder get back out, to the mound. In time to get first, out. and there are two away. So striding forward now, Brady Puckett. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. This one's flared out toward left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a... Digging in now for Philadelphia. Esteban Casto. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Swing, and he pops him up. This should do it. And it's Bedlam in Beantown. The Red Sox are once again world champions.
Wow, World Series champions. The only thing that could have made this sweeter would have been doing it in front of the home crowd. But hey, they're not complaining, believe me. Now they can look forward to celebrating during the parade as they bring the World Series trophy home. What a moment for this team, this organization, and that city. Back now on the show. More reactions now to this series clinching victory. And down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the Commissioner's Trophy to the new world champs. 